It's another month, so here we go. Short Fuse for April 2024. In terms of playable content, we got a little bit less than usual, but in exchange, we've got a more concrete look at the next few months. Anyways, let's kick things off with an update on the narrative. As we've mentioned before, your defusals won't just be performed in a lonesome, dreary room. Currently under development is a much more lively situation to work in. This game show is run by the company's Powder Keg Union, but they're a tight-lipped bunch. If you want in, you'll need to break out some detective skills. Remember your computer? Well, it's not just for shopping. It'll also be your go-to stop for checking work milestones and socializing with the other employees. Your boss Haley would much rather the chat rooms be used for business discussions only, but you'll catch plenty of cooler talk too. Who knows, some loose-lipped individuals might just let something slip about that union. While I can't let too much slip about the story, we've been hard at work structuring it around gradual investigation over multiple runs. As you discover more about the world and complete work milestones, the game will unfold, allowing for new ways to play. Hi everyone, this is Chad from the Shark Fuse Art Team. Here you are seeing a new preview of our car bomb model that we'll be implementing in the game show track. It is modeled after the Hummer H2 in a low poly field to keep with our art style. Along with the model being able to have open and closing doors to allow the car to be more lively during gameplay. And here's another new bomb. This one is designed for use in the fabled game show track. Anyways, it's called the Jack in the Box, and for this bomb we wanted to focus on alternate bomb defusal strategies. So you can't defuse the Jack in the Box in a traditional way, there are no wires at all. Instead, you need to stop the timer from reaching zero by turning the crank. The Jack in the Box will be defused automatically once the wave ends. This means you need to keep a watchful eye on it to stay in the game, otherwise you may just blow up. And you can get multiple of these dropped on you in a single wave, so you really gotta stay peeled. We've revamped our bomb generation system. And unlike our previous system, which was fully random, our new wave generation allows us to create custom presets and influence generation through parameter groupings. Presets are fully custom made and parameter groupings allow us to give a sort of theme to waves. You might see a more potato focused wave or one that relies on special drop types like the following light. This should help with balance, pacing, storytelling, and some other stuff too. We'll probably still be iterating on this for a while, but the potential of the new system is very exciting. We may give some updates on this in the future, but if we don't, you can just assume we're happily tweaking away behind the scenes. Is it now possible for 15 bombs to drop at the same time? Yes. Overall, this lets us weave in directed content along with a more curated randomization system that should make the whole experience feel a lot more impactful. And that's all for our April update. There are a lot of smaller things we worked on behind the scenes that didn't quite make it into this video, so check out our Discord and Shorts for more details on those fronts. Anyways, if you liked the video, make sure to wishlist short fuse on Steam, and see you all in the May update.